In this tutorial, we will see the stiffening plate possibilities and features that are mostly used. Firstly, why do we use stiffening plates? It is simply used to strengthen the web and prevent buckling, and also to resist excessive deflection. We can generate stiffening plates via the manufacturing operation window. We use this stiffener operation and we can modify many parameters to fix it to our model. Nevertheless, sometimes we may have more complex structures and we need editing freer. In such cases, we can use this stiffening plate operation. So now, we have a stiffening plate on our column. As known, you can change the material, thickness and shape with the top three options. The only difference between rectangle and circle is, while you need to introduce four dimensions for the rectangle, for the circle, you just need to enter the radius. Let's continue with rectangular shape. So what does each of dimensions mean? To easily understand this topic, let's switch to the wireframe view and minus C view. In this case, a large black dot appears on the plate. You can think of it as center of gravity or origin. Now if you glance at the dimensions in the graphic window, you will see four dimensions that correspond to B1, B2, H1 and H2. For example, if we change them all to 100, you will get a square plate. For the circle, you should introduce the radius as seen now. For the polygon, you need to upload your drawing from a DXF file. Let's continue with the rectangle, regarding the positioning, you can enter translations on the XYZ axis, and rotations around these axes. Again, these are the same in circles and polygons. When the translation value is introduced, the location of this black point, that is, origin does not change. Only the plate is moved relative to this point. You can try this. The last important field is origin. You can choose joint, as is now, member and plate. We have already learned joint. If you select member, first you have to select a reference member for your plate. Then you have to select the plane of the selected member. For example, bottom flange, top flange, or web. After that, there are other selections about the type and location. Lastly by using X position, you can change the location only in one direction. Because the other two direction limited with the plane of the flange or web. And you can rotate about two axis via rotation and pitch fields. Also from the welding field, we can change the weld properties as we did before. Now take a look at the types of stiffening plates in detail. Instead of using the global coordinate system, we can use member or plate, as reference. When I select member, I have to specify the reference member for my stiffening plate. And I have only one member here in this model. So I select M1. Then I need to tell the program which plate I want to be reference for the stiffening plate. It could be the bottom flange, the top flange or the web of the column. For now, let's select top flange. We have three types of stiffening plates and these are ribs, wideners and doublers. Basically all of them are stiffening plates, however descriptions of these types of plates are as following. A rib is a plate that outside of the plane of the plate. As you see, it could be perpendicular to this bottom flange plane. A widener is a plate that on the plane of the reference plate. However, you can change the angle and the position of the widener. And finally, a doubler is a plate that can be used to strengthen the existing plate. Here is an example of how can we change the position of the ribs. We have three choices in the location line and these are front, rear and both. To see the differences between these selections, let's change, for example height 1 as 0. So now, if you select rear, the plate will be positioned at the column. And if you select front, the opposite situation will occur. Wideners and doublers are also positioned in this way. When you select rib and front, you will see that the plate is at the front side. And the weld is at the rear side. And if you select rear from location line, a similar situation will happen. So to fix it, you need to check H1 and H2 and change the values. For example, I write 100 to H1 and 0 to H2. So it's corrected. I have three options to change the position and inclination of the rib. 
I can use these X position, rotation and pitch lines to change the positioning. For example firstly, let's write 100 to X position. As you see, the plate moved downwards with respect to the center point of the column. You can see the center point, if you switch to the wireframe view. Similarly let's write 20 to rotation and 30 to pitch lines. The plate will turn around the z-axis when I change the rotation value, and pitch corresponds to the y-axis. To see these local axes, you can switch on LCS, here. You'll only have X position and rotation parameters for widener and doubler. Additionally, you might want to know to move the plate horizontally. The answer is very practical. If I change B1 as, for example, 0, and B2 as 300, I can change the position of the plate along the horizontal axis.